So imagine if you could save hours and hours of your time with your online course creation. And no, it's not with AI. It's with a really cool update on Articulate 360 storyline. I'm always investigating the new updates, but this one has really, really helped me in reducing time from a few hours to simply 10 minutes. Really excited to show you guys. Let's get stuck in. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're discussing a new update on Article 360. You know, when I find something I discover that really works for me, I want you guys to also experience it too. And this new update may seem minor, but it really does save loads of loads of time of unnecessary hours that you really don't need to spend. And in case you're wondering what Article 360 storyline is, if you've never used it, it's a really fun and interactive way to go from, let's say, a PowerPoint presentation into something more interactive, such as adding interaction, quizzes, scenarios, videos, videos etc. That's something really important when creating online courses, not just kind of sticking to just videos alone or text alone, it's combining all the multimedia elements together. I discuss various types of online course creation in my other videos, so I definitely recommend checking them out, especially when you're kind of understanding more about the e-learning industry in general. And I used to have to dedicate hours and hours thinking, oh no, I'm going to get more video content and multimedia elements. I've got to dedicate time just to loading it up, sitting there, waiting for it to load but now you can drag and drop media straight into your project so no more needing to go through the insert process whether it's a video images or audio you can have anything in a snap so now I'm going to put it to the test I've got 10 media files I'm going to use multiple videos one video is 40 minutes the rest are shorter videos of images let's see how long it takes for me to do it let's have a look let's just have a quick look at the new updates with the AI although today's not to do with AI I want to quickly show you what we can do now with with the new updates so you'll see here when you click on ai quiz generate multiple ai quiz questions ai questions generate one question and also summary create ai summary so on the right you'll see ai assistant as well added on so these are other updates to bear in mind you normally you have to do to add video is go on uh, click on video, video from file, but it takes longer. You'll see the difference. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get the video files, drag one over and see what you see, how it does it. One, two, in two seconds it's loaded. But just to show you that it's actually loaded and it's not just kind of stood there, when you click on preview, you'll see the video is playing. So now we're going to do continue this on. Let's try really fast to see what we can do in a short time frame. Also guys, stay until the end because I'm going to be showing you how you can actually start incorporating this into your e-learning and how multimedia elements really make a difference to your online course. So the stock footage I have is a lot of Japan. You may have seen I did another video as well on Japan. So keep going. You see it goes really, really quickly. If we check the time, this is done within what, a couple of minutes? And then also when you click on preview, you'll see that they are then already on uh, the layer. Obviously you can adjust accordingly. So that literally took what? A couple of minutes it's incredible that saved me so much time of stress i don't need worrying it's going to take ages to load it's always about finding these small minor updates that really make a difference to your day-to-day -day job and this is what this new update is like for example when you compare it to rise which i've discussed before in another channel which is really good for mobile friendly learning but you have to wait for it to load every time i had a 40 minute or an hour video i loaded onto rise and it took a very long time to load up you need to leave it for an hour or so whereas if you take the same video and put it into 360 it loads up straight away it really makes a difference when it comes to online course creation finding tools that really can you know be fast paced and it's not just about ai it's about using ways that can really make your process speed up as much as possible especially when it comes to heavy content files now i want to show you what you can actually do and how you can use these media elements within your online courses you'll see here i've clicked on a couple of welcome slides here welcome here you know that has imagery in the background to make your life easier so instead of having a still image it's really nice to have movement moving videos captures more attention rather than static images you know our brains are wired to notice movement so a moving video really helps draw learners in and keep them focused on the content gives a sense of energy and change and just combining visuals and maybe with sound you can have really good kind of capture those auditory and visual senses as well and there you have it guys another awesome update from our Circuit 360 story and what your thoughts have you used it yet has it made a difference to your experience it definitely has for mine especially working with lots of heavy video files you know constantly seeing the spinning circle with rise this has helped me a lot and definitely it's worth giving it a try especially if you are using multimedia elements within your e-learning especially you know if you're working to a 
tight deadline. You really need a system and a software that's going to do it in a small time frame. So I hope you guys found value from this video. If you did, give me a like. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe for my weekly content. I'll be doing more of our Secret 360 storyline, as well as lots of updates to do with the e-learning industry, AI, tech trends, and more. If you guys did like this video, I definitely suggest having a look at my other video where I cover how to create online courses fast using Articulate 360, going into more detail from beginning stages of using it and going into more advanced such as quizzes, adding characters, etc. Thanks guys for watching. Have a good one.